guys, I'm back with the third installment of my summer travel series here and I am going to share with you today my favorite in-flight essentials. Well, not even my favorite, my in-flight essentials, period. These are things that I always carry with me regardless of how long the, the flight is or how long our trip is. They're things that I want on the plane with me. Um, that just make me feel comfortable when traveling. Everyone has slightly different needs when it comes to anything, but of course that also applies to travel. So this might seem like a ridiculously excessive amount of things to you, or it might seem like not enough things. Um, now this doesn't include things like my cameras and my computers and stuff like that. These are just things that I bring with me on the flight to make my experience more comfortable, more enjoyable, and less stressful. And they're things that I keep in my little travel bin, um, in my closet, on hand, ready to go for any trip. I don't have to think about it. They're all together, and I can just pack them into whatever carry-on I'm bringing, and I know I'm all set. So, I'm also going to talk about some of my favorite snacks to bring with me, and then at the end I'm going to show you my current favorite travel outfit. I tend to like get into phases of wearing uniforms when traveling, but I'll talk about that. Not like actual uniforms, but I call them like my uniform because I tend to wear the same thing every time I travel. I'll get into that at the end, um, but first I just thought I'd show you the things that I pack in my carry-on with me uh, all the time. First of all, and this is definitely the cutest thing, this is my, um, now hold on, I've saved, I've had this for like well over a year, but I saved this little pamphlet so I know exactly what to say. This is the Undercover Bears Blanket and Pillow Set by Lug. Now Lug also makes something similar to this in um, a non-bear version, and they actually come in different colors with different faces on them. Now let's see if I can look up, I have the teal one. I actually ordered this, I believe I ordered this on Amazon. Um, oh, here we go. Agent Turnberry. <laughs> this is so cute. So they have, they're all different agents and they have different little personalities. So Agent um, Turnberry, they're associated with some certain traits. So this one's tranquility and clarity. It's just a cute thing. I think this is for children and adults alike. What I like about this though is it is the absolute perfect lumbar support pillow for me on any plane or in any car or any kind of trip. I tuck this right in at my lower back, right against the seat, and this, more often than not, is just makes it so much better. Airplane seats are notoriously terrible for you. They are not ergonomically, like, accurately designed for the most part. And with wear and tear, they just get worse and worse, saggy, and you end up getting off the plane and you feel like crap. Um, so this just helps keep me, uh, you know, happy. Now, the other nice thing about this is not only is it, like, the perfect size pillow, pretty cute at that, but it actually comes equipped, it has a zipper that goes all around, with a blanket. This is an ingenious little product. So it's got a similarly covered blanket in it, and the blanket actually has a button uh, pocket as well. Um, and it's a nice personal size blanket, and it's this like kind of soft minky material, so it's warm, but it's not like suffocating, if that makes sense. So here you guys can see the, the little pocket. And um, the pocket would be cute to like put your little um, iPod in or whatever, your, your listening music device. What it actually holds when it's, you know, just holding things is this little inflatable pillow. Right, are you ready for this? It's going to blow your mind. And the inflatable pillow is in the exact same shape and size as the little case that I use as a pillow. Now, if you get really cold on the plane, you want the pillow and the blanket. You take the blanket out of the pillowcase. You blow this up. It's really easy. It does not take that long. You insert this back into here, it fills it perfectly, and then voila, you've got pillow and blanket, and it's just pretty awesome. Now I'm going to be honest, I haven't been on a plane recently, I haven't been on any really long flights where I want my own blanket or I get really cold, because um, the next thing I'm going to show you kind of helps me if I get a little bit chilly. Um, but it's a nice feature to have, and it's just, it's too cute, and it's just easy to bring, it's lightweight, um, and I don't go on an airplane without it. My second current carry-on in-flight essential is a scarf. Now, it's the summertime here and I'm not wearing scarves 
more often, I mean really not at all, because it's hot. When I'm going to the airport, I don't really want to put a scarf on. It would just be hot. So I want to have a way to keep a nice scarf with me in my carry-on bag um, that's lightweight but versatile um, so that um, you know I have it in case I need it on the plane or during a trip or whatever. Um, and I tend to use scarves on planes either just to help keep me warm or as a personal size blanket, like a lightweight blanket. And this summer I've been traveling with one of these brand new Eagle Creek um, Spectre. I think it's called the Spectre Pouch. I don't know, I'll have links to everything on the coordinating blog post the link below. But it's from their packet system. And it's their new very lightweight, um, almost slightly sheer, yeah, definitely sheer um, packet system line. So I have this really nice lightweight scarf from Target that I bought a few months ago in here. But Target always has nice kind of inexpensive scarves. And you can see it's actually, you're not going to be able to see because it's not going to fit in the frame. It's actually really big. Like this is a really big scarf, but you can see it's kind of see-through, like you can kind of still see me through there. Um, <laughs> and so first of all, it's great to wear as a scarf if you get a little chilly on the plane. I always have a sweatshirt with me too, you'll see that in my outfit. Um, or I can drape it over myself as like a shawl or even as like a lightweight blanket. Uh, and this is just a great scarf to travel with. Now in the winter months I usually bring a heavier kind of thing, slightly heavier depending on where we're traveling to. Um, but I just really like having the setup in the little bag because then I don't have to worry about my scarf getting snagged or dirty or anything being tossed around in my bag and it's easy to locate because it's in its own case. You guys know I love to put things in cases. Um, it just makes it easier for me to keep things organized and easy to find. This little pouch is also great because it's extremely lightweight, even more lightweight than the traditional packing system, um, and uh, just keeps it at just the perfect size. So that would be my second essential in-flight item. Another item I like to travel with for comfort or warmth or whatever have you want to say it are fuzzy slipper socks. I've had these forever. I honestly cannot remember where they're from. They might have been from Nordstrom's a really long time ago. I like that they're black. Um, which I like for traveling. And I like to bring these in my carry-on because I take my shoes off when I'm on the plane, um, unless, of course, I get up to go to use the restroom or something. Um, but when I'm sitting in my seat, I'm wearing just no shoes, and I just have my socks on. But I usually wear pretty thin socks, um, depending on the time of year. And sometimes it gets, even if it's not cold, like up at your body, it gets kind of cold down at your feet. So I like having little slipper socks with me. Um, I just wash them after every trip uh, that I wear them. And they're lightweight and they're just easy to have with you. And just a little thing like this can make a big difference in your comfort on a flight, no matter how long the flight is. Um, so I always have my little slipper socks with me. Slipper socks. That didn't come out right. Slipper socks. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Of course, I can't travel without headphones. Um, I prefer noise canceling headphones. Uh, these are Bose Quiet Comfort 15s. Um, it's my second generation of Bose headphones. Um, I find they last me a really long time. They're great if you're sensitive to sound. Um, so on a plane where it's very noisy with the sound of not only you know, being in a small area, but also with the plane sounds. It's nice to have noise canceling headphones and I either listen to music or edit, usually during flights. Um, so I wear these pretty much the entire flight. Even if I don't have anything playing, I'll usually have them on just to kind of keep, you know, keep the noise out of my head. Um, and they came in a really bulky case, which I don't like to carry. I find they're pretty sturdy if I just keep them in this little bag. This is just a little felt bag that came in one of my Eco Emmy boxes at some point over the years. Um, they pretty much fit in there, um, and it's just a lighter weight, less bulky way to keep them safe and separate, but not, you know, like a huge extra case for them. Uh, speaking of electronics, I always have two electronic cases with me. Now, these are the one items that or these are the two items that may or may not come with me depending on the trip. Um, I usually have one or both. If I'm not bringing my computer, I don't bring this. If I'm not bringing my cameras, I don't bring this. But there really aren't very many vacations that that happens. Um, so in this tiny little, this is a quarter cube from the Eagle Creek packet system. Um, in this one, I have a 
Charger for my MacBook Pro, I actually have a dedicated charger just for traveling. I have forgotten my tra uh, charger before, which really, really sucks <laughs> if you're a you know person who uses your computer a lot like I do um, for work or whatever. I bought one and now I just keep it. I had to buy one when we were on our trip and now I just keep it as a travel one so I never forget. So I've got that in there. I also have a, um, a MagSafe airline adapter. This works on some airlines. I can, you know, get power to my computer when my battery runs out. It depends on the airline. Um, you can check ahead of time and I just keep it all in a little gauze pouch, probably from Eco Emmy. And then I have a cleaning uh, cloth for my screen, my laptop screen. And then this is another cute little thing. And this I will actually take with me on every trip, regardless of whether I'm bringing this little pouch or not with my computer accessories. But this is uh, an extra charger for your iPhone. So it's called the Smart Charger, and it actually char you charge it up through your USB port before you travel. And then it will charge up your phone in case that it drains during a long trip or something when you need you need some juice and you don't have the ability to plug your phone in. Um, so that's a nice thing to have uh, and I like carrying it with me. Now, that, like I said, I do carry that on every trip regardless of whether I'm bringing this little case or not, but it just fits nicely in the case with my little computer accessories. Um, so I keep it in there and I'm usually traveling with this. My other Eagle Creek uh, pouch here, and this is of the more traditional variety, has all of my camera chargers. And again, I have dedicated chargers just for traveling. I have multiple chargers for all of my cameras because I don't want to forget any of them. And sometimes that's the last thing you remember, you know, you forget when you're packing, even if you're pretty organized. So I've got a charger for my um, DSLR camera, my Canon. Uh, Rebel T4i and then a charger for my point and shoot which is a Canon PowerShot 330HS I believe ELF 330HS so I have these they're ready to go and they're in that little ba uh, the little bin in my closet that I know that I just pop this into my bag no worries additionally I have a uh, charger for my iPhone essential don't leave home without it so these are really important things to remember, and I like just having them all packed and ready to go at any time so I don't forget any of my necessary chargers. Um, very important. Also, and certainly not least here, we have the Travel Walking Pharmacy. You guys know I love my walking pharmacy. Um, I am actually, I don't know if I should go through the whole thing because this video is going to get super long if I do. Um, I might as well, right? So I, I think I will do, uh, I'll show everything on the blog post in a picture so you guys can see. And I'll just go through everything really fast. This is my new favorite um, travel walking pharmacy case. This is a Vera Bradley 311 cosmetic case. It's a little on the pricey side for what it is, but it's very well made and it's very versatile and I love it. Um, I used it on our most recent trip and um, it was great not only for travel but also for you know during the trip to put in my pool bag to you know to take golfing for my purse whatever um, and uh, it's just the perfect size and what I like about it is it's TSA approved to put your liquids and gels in and to be honest I just pull this out of my bag and I leave all the other stuff in it. It's got all my liquids and stuff in it that you know I have with me in my carry-on. I don't separate them, I just leave them in here. I don't know if that's really like legit or not, but I have not had a problem with that since. I always travel with a, an extra quart size Ziploc bag in my luggage, in my carry-on bag, just in case, but I have not had a problem to date with that. Um, so, and I really like how the it opens this way. It's just easy to, to use um, vertical organization and to access things, especially when you're like me and you have a lot of little things in your little kit. Um, it's just nice to be able to just pull them out and not rummage through for them. So now you've seen it, I'm going to just pull things out real fast and tell you what I've got. I've got Chapstick, this is a Baby Lips um, by Maybelline with SPF 20 in it. I always like to have a little SPF lip balm for the plane, you still get sun on the plane. That's on top. I have a Caudalie, uh, this is a beauty elixir. This helps with oiliness and just refreshing for your face. I have a hand sanitizer from um, William Sonoma. I don't know if they still sell it, it's pretty old, but it's a nice kind of subtle scent, which is nice on the plane, not to use anything too scenty. My favorite hand cream of the moment is the Caudalie uh, Hand and Nail Cream. Oops, why don't we just throw that. 
And then I have a nail file because I always seem to snag a nail when I'm traveling. And this is just a crystal nail file by Nail Tech. I got this at Ulta at some point. They're my favorite kinds of uh, files are the crystal kinds. And that's a nice travel one that's protected in its own little case. I have a pop-up brush that has a mirror in it. Very convenient. This is from Sephora, but you can get them pretty inexpensive at Target and Walmart. I have a brow combing device from Sephora. I know this seems ridiculous, but my brows get really wild and unruly, and that's the one thing I, I always want to like touch up on the go. I have a little mini hair cloth, and a um, this is a hair tie from Main Message. It's one of those kind of soft, soft, soft hair ties. Then I also have a cuticle brother, bu butter brother by Burt's Bees. This is the lemon butter cuticle cream. Um, I like to moisturize my hands a lot when I'm traveling because they tend to get real dry, especially with packing and all that jazz and just being on an airplane. I have a little four-sided compartment pill box. This is from the containers for a long time ago, but I'm pretty sure they still sell these. I have Advil in one side, Aleve in another, Dramamine in the third, because I do get motion sickness sometimes, and then one little set of um, earplugs, just in case. I have the Alme Oil-Free Makeup Eraser Sticks. These are great if you're like me and you tend to rub your eyes and your makeup starts to smudge underneath your eyes, especially when traveling. I can't help myself. These little, they're like Q-tip sized things and you just kind of snap them and the product goes into one end and then you've got an easy, pretty clean way to, to you know, touch up your makeup. I also have these little um, Express Cleansing Wipes from Sephora. These are great for hands or face or whatever. I have tissues. Of course, I like these little flat ones from Kleenex. I have um, oil blotting papers from Basha. And then I have a little um, Ziploc bag, and I find these little bags at Michael's are pretty inexpensive, filled with different kinds of Band-Aids in it. And then I have another one with my favorite sweetener, which is Truvia, Stevia. It's a brand of Stevia. I have a couple of my favorite on-the-go deodorant towelettes by Crystal Essence. And then I have an Airborne to go. A ginger chew in case you start to feel a little bit queasy. This ginger balm, which is called Queasy Ease, that you put on your lips and it just, it's like an aromatherapy thing if you start to feel queasy. Like I said, I do suffer from some um, motion sickness sometimes. And then this little battery, it's just a AAA battery, is what, uh, in case my headphones, which take a AAA battery, run out of juice, then I always have one with me. And that is everything I pack into this little case, which is so versatile and I really like it. Um, so there's that. And then lastly, for snacks, I always bring two snacks with me and then maybe supplementi supplementally, that's not even a word, <laughs> additionally, some other snacks as well, like maybe some fresh fruit or a little um, cheese and crackers and turkey kind of little lunchable thing or something like that. But things, the staple snacks, like dry snacks, I always bring with me are a Luna Bar. I love Luna Bars. This one is the peanut honey pretzel, which is one of my favorites. I also really love the coconut chocolate one. Is that what it is? I think so. And, um, Oh, one other one. Now I'm blanking. They're all good, but those are some of my favorites. And then these, which I get at Trader Joe's, are little individual bags of um, just a handful of Simply Almonds, Cashews, and Cranberries Trek Mix. And I'll throw a couple of these in my bag. So I have one for me and one for Dawn. Just in case you get really hungry and you don't have an option, it's a nice, healthy, but filling optional snack to have on hand. And those are the snacks I always bring with me on a flight, like regardless of what other food I bring. Now I am going to pop in a little footage of the outfit that I like to wear on the plane lately. I used to travel in leggings, um, but I kind of got out of the habit of that. I kind of wanted to be in jeans. Um, it just felt a bit, um, it just feels a bit like more put together. Um, not that there's anything wrong with traveling in leggings, it's just a personal preference. Uh, but the problem was I didn't really have any jeans that I felt were really comfortable. Well, in the past few months, or six months, or seven or eight months, I finally found jeans that I really love from American Eagle. They're, they're skinny, they're just regular skinny jeans. And they're li I, they, I buy them in my regular size, but they have a lot of give to them, so they're a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more stretchy. And those are the ones I wear, I've been wearing on the plane lately. And um, I either wear them cuffed if it's a little warm, or all the way rolled down if it's a little chilly. Um, I've been wearing my, um, no, I always wear socks and shoes on the plane. I've been wearing my Nike, um, I think they're the 
flex free flex shoes they're my current walking shoes I really like them and I just like to wear my my sneaker or walking shoes on the plane because then I don't have to pack them they're comfortable and it's easy to like get around when traveling in them um, so I always have those um, what else? I always wear um, like a t-shirt kind of like I'm wearing today, but obviously you're going to see in the picture. Um, just like a loose fitting, uh, you know, easy to wear t-shirt. Um, I like to have layers, so I usually bring a sweatshirt with me. Um, some, depending on the time of year will kind of determine the weight of it. And in the winter I usually have a fleece as well. Um, but in the summertime or if I'm traveling somewhere pretty hot, then I usually just bring a sweatshirt. Um, and I like to either wear my hair clipped back um, on either side, so it's just out of my face, or in a braid. So when I'm sitting down, I'm not wearing like a clip in my hair, it's not bumping on the seat or getting annoying or anything, and it's not in my face. Um, so that's my favorite uh, travel uniform of late. Uh, and that is all that I have to share for my current in-flight essentials. I hope this was interesting to you guys. Uh, again, I recommend checking out my coordinating blog post for up close pictures and links and descriptions to, to, to things um, if you'd like some more information. And uh, yeah, that, that, uh, that about sums it up for today. So check back next week for my fourth and final video in my travel series this summer where I will be competing <laughs> against myself, I guess, in a carry-on challenge um, where I'm going to try to pack for a three-night trip in my Vera Bradley Weekender soft-sided bag. Um, I, I don't travel with just carry-ons hardly ever, if ever, um, and I just thought it'd be a fun challenge for, for me to try. Um, and I know you guys like my packing videos. I like sharing them with you, and I thought this would be kind of fun. So check back next week for that. In the meantime, be well, and if you're traveling, happy travels. I hope you have a safe and, and great time and an organized experience, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, you guys. Take care. Bye.